Yo, in my previous video, somebody left a comment like he was like, I'm sorry, but all you do is complain about Call of Duty for the last couple years and you continuously post Call of Duty every day. And I'm like, um, dude, you're, you're clearly, you clearly haven't been here in a long fucking time because I do not post Call of Duty anymore. Like I don't, I post this, I post like the last three days maybe because I just started playing Black Ops 2 again. I post what I play, basically. I post what I play. Like I've been playing Tarkov, I've been playing DayZ, they'll be posted. You know, I just, I do what the fuck I want on this channel. And basically I just said, yo, Get the fuck out of here with that pussy shit. That shit is not allowed here. You're new or you came here once and then you left. All of my subs already know that you can disagree with me, argue with me in the chat, this and that. But when you start acting like a pussy, you are not allowed here and you're not wanted here. I'm not here. I'm not on YouTube for money. If you know that or if you didn't know that but anyway yo this your boy jive turkey live from the two Confirm. one mother fucking five what up why, why would i say what up like that what up <laughs> what up i said what up What's going on, y'all? Chilling? 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 I'm playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I'm literally making this commentary at the same time as the NBA draft. And I want everybody to give me their bold predictions in the comments. I want the, I want the bold predictions. We're going to have some Call of Duty talk also. But I want some bold predictions predictions in the get out of my face you jive turkey in the comments zion williamson will he be one of the goats or will he be a flop i think the most nba ready guy the knicks got i think it's at the i think the atlanta hawks are picking eighth right now they the pick isn't even picked yet but I think R.J. Barrett is the most NBA-ready guy. I, th I always thought R.J. Barrett was better than Zion Williamson. Zion just has that you can't pass him up thing going on. Like, you can't pass him up for a couple of reasons. His athleticism is through the roof, right? And one thing that's... <laughs> It's, it's a meme that's real funny. It's like a Alonzo Ball and Zion Williamson being in New Orleans in five years or some shit. And they showed like a fat dude that looked like Zion and like, I think it was like Andre the Giant for Alonzo uh, Ball. And I'm like, yo, being in New Orleans with all that food, that shit might really be true. But why I brought up that is I think Zion, I don't know how he's going to control his weight. He's still a young guy, and and weight doesn't matter. Weight doesn't matter for him right now. But as, you know, as that career goes, all those dunks and, and his knees, man, his knees are going to get fucked up. And here's something that people don't pay attention to, but... It's bad for you. Like the dunk that you know how when people go up for a dunk and they dunk it without touching the rim, they just dunk it like like a you know how a jump shot going like they do that on purpose. They like throw it in the court and don't touch the rim and then just land. That wears and tears to the knees. Remember I said that. That is a wear and terror, man. Blake Griffin used to do that shit all the time. And 
Most people that do that dunk all the time, their knees start getting bad, man. I'm telling you, that shit's going to wear and tear. But what I'm saying is he does that dunk all the time. Like, he does it every chance he gets. And he's big. Like, he's he weighs a lot. That's going to wear and tear on his knees and in his if he doesn't control that weight in the future, man, I'm telling you, man, those knees are going to go bad. Not wishing anything bad on him, but I'm just saying. But I think R.J. Barrett has a chance to be the best player in this draft. I think um, I think Zion is going to be like a Blake Griffin. You know, I think he's going to be like he's going to have like a Blake Griffin career. And then you see how Blake Griffin is just a man now. Like, he, he has a three-pointer. He he has just an all-around game now because he's just not dependent on his athleticism anymore. Just dunking and all that. He knows that he needs a jump shot, and he got it. And now look at him. But I think his career is going to be like Blake Griffin's. Um, Another thing I wanted to talk about was... Um, the, 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 the hell, no, not the hellfire. What's this? What's this streak that I'm running? The top streak. It's really the fucking, you know why it, I, I, I really think it's the secret weapon of black ops Two. I've been running it all day today. Well, not all day today. I streamed earlier and I ran it. I changed to it and it been wrecking. Like it's, it's really been wrecking. And I think it's been wrecking because nobody really takes it seriously. Like when it's in the air, nobody's like running from it. Like, oh, get by, get undercover. Like people literally don't pay it any mind until they die to it like twice. And then they start shooting it down or something. But by then I got six kills already with it. <laughs> See, look, look, I'm just, I'm gonna call it in the dragon fire. Watch nobody pay it any mind. It's it's like, like whatever. Nobody's paying it any mind. I'm I'm just he's he he probably ran from it, but it it doesn't matter. Like, look, nobody's shooting it down. Look, dude wasn't paying me no mind. Dude in the middle paying me no mind. Look at these guys. They're paying it no mind. I think it just gets shot down right there. That's probably somebody that. I killed, respawned, and then shot it down. Like, fuck it. But I'm still playing a little bit of Black Ops 2 here and there to, for like probably two days straight. H however days I streamed. I streamed day before yesterday. I didn't play any games yesterday. And then I streamed today. And I played Black Ops 2. So, and I, I want to tell people like, yo, get... A lot, a lot of people keep asking me like on Twitter and what should I buy? What kind of PC should I buy? And listen, if you're playing, if you're, um, if you're getting Call of Duty, right? If you're planning on just playing Call of Duty primarily, if you're playing primarily Call of Duty, your PC doesn't have to be one of those three thousand dollars some dude came with a three thousand dollar bill do i need this foot no you 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 really don't you can probably play call of duty on a build from 2012 and i'm not playing every call of duty runs easily it, it it's not like one of those it's not an engine that with like a Tarkov like if you don't plan on playing Tarkov which I think you're gonna be this is this is the thing right <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing right here but this is the thing if you're gonna only play Call of Duty you can get like a fucking uh, i7 4770k 4770k and a GTX 780 like something cheap you can really run the game on that you and the new cod will run on that trust me but this is the thing when you play call when you play PC 
and you see all of the games that are available you're going to want to expand and play new games like you're going to want to buy tarkov you're going to want to buy I, I don't think apex legends is really like that much of wear and tear on your cpu but like you're going to want to play these new games you're going to want to play these new zombie games coming out these new army games coming out you're gonna want to play battlefield you like you're gonna want to play these games so i don't i say at least get a gtx 980 at least that's what i'm actually running here a gtx 980 is what i'm running my my cpu is a 6850 it's a six core it's a it's very good it's very good it's it runs every game no problem for me but yeah um if you're primarily gonna play black ops or not black ops but call of duty on your pc you don't really need a three thousand dollar build you know you can just buy some boom and then you can upgrade as you go but the reason i'm telling you this is Everybody that has PC will tell you the same thing. It will be so tempting to play other games. It's going to be super tempting to play other games because it has so many fucking games. It's not like Xbox or even PlayStation. PlayStation got a lot of games, but you know, like it's limited. Fucking PC got a billion games. And I, I'm telling you, make the switch now and learn the keyboard and mouse learn that shit people are scared to make the switch because they're not gonna know keyboard and mouse they're gonna get their ass whipped it's it's gonna happen you can't escape it you can't like i i used to my kill death in my first call of duty on pc was like two like it was terrible but I got better and now it's like 2.8, you know, stuff like that. So everybody, thanks for watching the video. And remember, Michael Jordan is the jive turkey of basketball. I'm out. Kunara. Uh. I take lives, I kill wives, uncountable families I made cry, many angels on earth yo, I made fly, no matter how much prayer or remedies, you still die. But these